An ex-nursing student at Brisbane's Walston Park says she faced retribution after she reported alleged patient abuse at the facility. The government's launched an investigation into former psychiatric hospital after a report by the ABC and a warning. This story contains details of sexual abuse allegations. Jo Clifford was just 17 when she took on a nursing placement at Brisbane's notorious Walston Park Mental Hospital in the early 80s. There wasn't just the odd account of sexual abuse, chemical restraint, physical abuse. It was a systematic, toxic culture of abuse. The former nurse remembers her tyres were slashed after reporting an alleged rape of an elderly patient by a senior male nurse. And he said, you'll pay for this. I thought, I know what paying for it means. He's the guy that was slashing my tyres. And that's what happened again. I had my tyres slashed. The facility closed back in 2001, but there have been widespread historic allegations of sexual abuse, beatings and chemical restraint. As part of an ABC investigation, some former patients spoke out for the first time about their experiences, which has now triggered another state government inquiry. The minister met with those who had been speaking with the ABC and they convinced her that there was uh, more work to be done and I think uh, you know, that's entirely appropriate. These stories are distressing. They are, unfortunately, a part of a very dark history that we have here in Queensland. The terms of reference are still being developed and the Health Minister was reluctant to preempt any findings that could be made. But the opposition has committed to continuing the investigation if elected in October. Good governments are transparent governments. And I think people have seen in recent times that everything the government's done on investigations across the board has been done with a, a prism of, of their survival. As for Jo, she hopes this will bring some closure. There have been attempts to look into Walston Park and they've all been quashed. If this government is brave enough to look at this and look at this thoroughly, the patients that are now coming forward need to be believed. Eden Gillespie, ABC News, Brisbane.